Welcome to our latest van build. I don't know if the van tour is out for this one yet, but we have, this is the first time we've done a platform bed. So excited to share it with you guys. Today, we are not gonna talk about this van. We're gonna talk about van fridges. And we wanted to quickly say thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. When it comes to fridges in a van, there are two main styles that you will see a more upright standard fridge that you would see in a house with a door that opens, or a cooler style, so it's more a big chest with a top that flips up. Now there are pros and cons to each one of these. We personally are bigger fans of the upright style fridge because it's easier to open and see everything inside. When you go with the cooler style fridge, you kind of have to stack stuff all on top of each other, so if something is at the bottom of your fridge or freezer, it's really hard to find. you got to scramble through all of it. Not only that, when you're building a van, if you have the chest cooler style, you're going to have to find some way to secure that. So typically you'll see that with a pullout that then you can lift the lid up from the cooler. We're actually building four vans right now, so we have fridges and kitchen cabinets and face frames everywhere to really show you guys why we enjoy building with the upright traditional style fridge versus the chest or cooler style fridge. The number one reason is that for our build, we really go for a very homey finish. We want it to feel like a tiny home inside of a van. And so actually having the fridge open and having that as part of the overall design of the van is really nice. We typically use an isotherm 65 all the way up to 130 liter fridge. We buy these from West Marine. That's the best dealer that we have found for these isotherm fridges. And this one is an isotherm 85 that I'm going to show you. The Pearlmaster that we have right now is an isotherm 65. And we usually go with the stainless steel um, finish because it just gives it a really nice look like a really high quality appliance inside your house. Now, we have built with the chest style fridge before. The big challenge with this is that the fridge itself, before you add anything into it, is 50 pounds. And in order to access what you have in the fridge, you have to have it on some sort of heavy duty rollers or drawer slides in order to pull it out. It can be done. I would have you look at either Scott comes with a view, his van build, or even Summit of Freedom, the van tour that we did on our channel. They have both done this really well with really big, really heavy top loading fridges. But again, because we like it as a design feature in the van, we typically build with these isotherm you know, front opening fridges. So if you look at this kitchen cabinet right here, this is for a 170 extended beach house that we are building for one of our clients. This is the isotherm 85 liter fridge right here. So it has this nice stainless finish. You open it up, lots of storage inside, lots of door storage. You can easily fit a few six packs in here. And when we're on the road, we do prefer to hit the grocery store two or three times a week anyway. Kind of weird right now, all those of you on the road, you can't really do that as much, but what we found is the majority of the food we were buying didn't have to go in the fridge anyway. So if you use your storage in your other cabinets properly, you don't have to fit everything into your fridge. A note, a tip, when you're building these cabinets, do not finish them until you actually have the fridge in place. So I made sure we had this fridge before I built this base frame, which is gonna go on the cabinet. And so it's really important that you have good clearance around this when you do your install. So you can see I've got room on both sides. I have room up top and my fridge still opens. So all that I have to do is finish setting this so that it's in the exact right position so that it has the right reveal and make sure that it all lines up. And then I just nail this onto the kitchen but this is kind of a sneak peek of how we build these face frames around the fridges. Because the dimensions online, they can be off by a half inch here or a half inch there. And when you're building a face frame like that, you really want to make sure that it's perfect. Another option that you have with these fridge, with a fridge in a van, is whether you want to go with a 110 or a 12 volt fridge. Now, obviously 110 fridges are a lot less expensive. You can find them for like a hundred bucks at Costco and a lot of people use those and they put those into really inexpensive conversions. The problem with that is that in order for your fridge to run, your inverter always has to be on and your inverter 
is always pulling power, more power from your battery bank than the 12 volt systems. So a 12 volt fridge is gonna be more energy efficient for you, which is why this is a 12 volt fridge and the majority, all of the, the fridges that we have installed have been 12 volt fridges in our vans. You can also, if you wanna spend a little bit more, you can get a 12 volt slash ACDC or 110, 120 fridge. So it will actually do both. So if you have it plugged into a, a 110 outlet, when your inverter is on, it will actually pull power from your battery bank, but through the 110. But when your inverter is not on, it will pull the power directly through the 12 volt system. You can also wire it in a way where it will only pull the 110 when you're plugged into shore power. That's the way that a lot of RV manufacturers make them, especially with the propane um, 110 versions. So if you're plugged into shore power, it'll run the 110. If you're not plugged into shore power, it'll run from propane. And that is another option with your camper van. You can go with a propane fridge. We have never installed them. We don't see a lot of people that install them in DIY camper vans. That's because propane is a little bit more difficult to work with, which is why you see most people going for the 12 volt option. That would be my number one pick for any of you that are looking for a fridge. So that leads to what is my number one recommendation for your van for a fridge. We have bought Dometic fridges in the past and I found the quality of those to be less than the quality of the isotherms. You spend a little bit more on an isotherm than you do a Dometic fridge, and we still use some other Dometic um, components in our vans, but when it comes to the fridges, both of them we had parts break right away after we bought them, it was very disappointing. Isotherm Cruise Elegance 65 liter is my number one pick for those of you out there buying a fridge for your conversion van. You can find it in either this nice stainless you can find it in an actual stainless finish, or you can find it in a black finish if you wanna go that route. So that's my number one pick, the 12 volt Isotherm Cruise 65 liter fridge. That was a lot of information about one subject, a fridge. And they are very important though. You gotta keep those beers cold when you're on the road or baby food or whatever it is that you're hauling around. We wanna thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video. All the information, not all, but summary of the information we talked about in this video is available in the blog post linked down below on our website which is built on Squarespace. We talk about this all the time, this great relationship we have with Squarespace, how we have literally been using them for almost seven years now. Even back when we were running our own marketing companies, we were building websites for clients on Squarespace. No plugins needed, super intuitive backend, an amazing help center if you have questions you can just go type in how do I create a blog post? Boom, they've got a whole bunch of articles right there to help you learn and help you become self-sustainable and self-reliant when it comes to your own website, which to me, when it comes to a website that is yours and your passion project or your business, it's super important that you know how to get in there and update it and keep it up to date. And you can do that with Squarespace. So if you wanna try out Squarespace today, go to squarespace.com for a free two week trial. And when you are ready to buy your website or domain, go to squarespace.com forward slash 40 hours and you will get 10% off your website or domain. So thank you guys for watching. We are busy here. We've got lots of van tours coming because we are finishing a bunch of vans. Drop your comments or questions down below and what other video content would you guys like to see from us because we're creating videos every week and we wanna make them valuable for you. So thanks and we'll see you guys next time.